Hi guys, today is Wednesday, June 15, 2022, and I am in Missouri Star Quilt Company, and we are in a license shop right now, but I just thought that I would come on so we could start this retreat video because yesterday was set up day and getting everybody organized and situated. Uh, picked up from the airport train station and I did not record a thing. I will, however, just put some pictures of some of the setup and you can see those pictures here. museum that opens at 11 and we are just doing a little bit of pre-shopping beforehand Hello. these lovely folks are shopping in the fat quarters section fat quarters right there nice little selection and then all of those are folded. Like I said, nice long shops here. We are on a bus trip and we have 42 people on our bus today. We had a few cancellations. Got some more tea quilt shirts over there. People from the bus. What is this? And the boats? Ten ninety five per bag. Oh, that's nice. And you didn't fill your bag up? Not yet. Oh, I was getting ready to say. You got girl, you may have to climb in there. I know. <laughs> they said it's ten ninety five a bag. That's a big bag. The ten ninety five. Thank you. Look at look at all these special wear items. Let me go get Becky and tell Becky about this. So does that <laughs> Uh Becky, there are some licensed prints or prints over here, novelty prints in this bin that's ten ninety five a bag and it's a good size bag. It's a whole lot of folk, you're gonna have to fight for it. <laughs> you're gonna have to get in there and love everybody. <laughs> They pulling them out. This, look at, this is the fabric bin. That's ten ninety five a bag, and the bag is a good size. Now you know I would be rolling stuff. <laughs> I would be rolling stuff. 
it's not actually special in the same way. Did y'all see that? Um, but this oh, bin oh, here, 1095 a bag. Oh, no. And, and this is a red bag, and they in there here. What's this? <laughs> I love this. I love watching this kind of stuff. It is hilarious. And look at Phyllis went right in up. Oh yeah. Okay. She, she know how to get in there. Jane's being so. But she's trying to be. There. Well, she's trying yeah. to be oh, good. Look, Betsy, See, Jane's Betsy doing. Betsy Where's Betsy? She's right there. Oh, she's got a bag. Yeah. You'll get a bag. Just, just grab I your think stuff you have to right now. Or something for yeah. Ten ninety five. And look at <laughs> look who's in here. <laughs> We're here. What's the deal? <laughs> Got more tea cultures right there. <laughs> These look like all motor grunge here. Very nice. How much is their grunge per yard? Let's see. It's 11.96. So yeah. All right. I'm gonna cut this camera off while these people shop and uh, wait for 11 o'clock. Talk to y'all later. So we're with Phyllis and Tamar, and we have just come down to the quilt museum we had come down earlier but they don't open until 11 a.m. so we wanted to come to the front we think we got to enter off the, a different door but we wanted to come down here and get pictures of these uh, quilt murals on the building take long to go through then because they didn't open until 11 right it opened at yeah 11 what time is it so it's hot up on the third floor y'all don't want in there but a half hour it's fast to go through yeah oh. Alright, so I'm going up on the third floor in the museum. I have been into the gallery, but I'm going up here to see what's going on. They said this floor is hot up here, so I'm going to do it first, and then maybe I can cool off when I walk the other areas. So, I'm learning all kinds of tidbit of information about this museum. So it's pretty cool. Really impressed with what's going on here in the expansion. And I don't know who's made all these quilts for the museum. I may have to talk to Dakota and see if she might want to do a display of some of my quilts. Look at this. This used to be an old school and they kept some school lockers and got things on them. Covered this bench in blocks. You see, I mean, a seat. Yep. Very, very nice. So we're just gonna walk and stroll because like I said, this floor is the hottest floor. They do have fans up here for circulation. Oh, look at this. Got this big old Ofa rotary cutter. That is cute. And then the birth of Ofa. Very nice. I'm gonna have to stop right here and give me a picture. No, okay. <laughs> That's funny. So we're still rolling in here. I'm gonna have to go ask uh, Dakota. Well, this history, it's just like, wow. Of this building? This is the slave club. Oh, okay. And it's um, coffee teams. They used to, um, to dye the fabric. 
They use coffee beans? Uh-huh. Okay. And the, and then the cotton that's popping out of it? Mm-hmm. They use real mm -hmm. cotton that yeah. it was just laid out. Right. It wasn't like batting. It wasn't made like batting. into batting. And it's hand stitched. It's gorgeous. Very nice. And what year? Do you remember what year? 1865. Okay. Very nice. And this is... Cool. Look at that, Alberta. Well, look at that, that girl in the photo. Did you look at that in the camera? I did. It's awesome. Gosh, awesome. go ahead. You okay? Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say, are these these have to be like two they're, inch? They're right? one inch finished. Okay, one so that you're square. cutting one and a half inch squares. Wow. Wow. I like wow. when I when I was outside and noticed uh -huh. that it was a school. I was like, oh, that's I awesome. I was excited about that. It's a high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Sorry. Hold on. We got a saddle in here. Uh, binding. Um, you know I mean salvage quilt, not binding. Salvage quilt. Oh, that's And all kinds of notices. I'm. I don't. I mean, I'm trying to get in and out because this top floor is hot. Right. So I have to look at my video myself. Pause it. <laughs> look at this wedding dress. Better to the, um, Weaving <laughs> loom. Hey. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. yeah. You already been up. You can go down out and wait for me down, Kevin. So you're not burning up. Got stairs here. They got quilts. More quilts. I'll come back. Another bench here. A photographer. <laughs> you got you a silhouette. Yes, thank you. This is gorgeous. This is stacking wax. I know. I was looking at the borders, mm -hmm. which I thought was a neat idea. Mm -hmm. Just trying to let you all see some of these. I know y'all are going to be crazy drunk when I'm through with y'all. Now I wonder if they took rooms down, walls down to do this, or was this a large room? Now this is weird. Yeah. Probably so if you look at the two beams here. Mm -hmm. There's probably they two cut. walls and this was maybe whatever. It's like they put that up to stabilize mm -hmm. it. Just do a quick walk around. It is burning up up here. Mm -hmm. Another old antique quilt can't be hung. Crazy quilt. This is a true crazy quilt, but they don't have any like stuff inside the fabrics, but they got everything covered with some hand stitching. And it's an 1800s I've made this or something similar with the courthouse step block instead of log cabin. Very pretty. Look at this bench. I got to keep walking guys, it is hot. Now this block is nice. It's made in a square like that. Antique. I like the uh, secondary effect. Just gorgeous. Whew. It is hot. I got one more room to go in up here. Got a plus quilt, cross quilt. And this is my last room up here. Gorgeous. Love that. Just nice.
So it looks like these quilts are for sale or something. So that's cool. So we look like we're in a dial room now. <laughs> got dial beds. I got a dial bed. Deborah's husband made it for me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm, Richard. And I made a little mini quilt for it and a pillow. I'm not going to hang in here too long. I am burning up. I did the hot foil first to get it out the way. That's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be there at some point. Okay, okay. okay. See you later. See you. Thank you. We may as well, you know, Look at these the old machines. For you. Yeah, that's great. Gross eight-hand embroidery machines. So this is how you did machine embroidery back in the day. You needed all of this. Let me, let me get an angle on this so you can see it all. <laughs> that is amazing. got the thimbles all here. I used to collect a few of them, but not like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to collect a few of them to put on in little whatnots when I was doing whatnots, but then, uh, you know, you have to dust whatnots. <laughs> and <Yes>. so, <laughs> and yes, that's the hard part of having a museum is dusting. <laughs> it never can stay on top of it. We dust probably two hours a day, but it doesn't. Mm -mm. It's yeah, a lot. I got rid of my curio, so I'm putting quilt tops in it. But this is going to be quilt tops now. We're not dusting this stuff anymore. <laughs> and old fashioned irons, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did that quilt. It's by. Um, oh, yeah. I love that. Look at this. This is one inch squares in the trip around the world. Just gorgeous. When life gives you scraps, quilt. <laughs> More thimbles over here too. We got a singer. It looks like the Rocketeer, but not exact. It's a, a, on that line. Pretty cool. Yes. Singer room over there. We'll come back. Sewing machine room. And for some reason, I thought it was all miniatures. And they even got a color one in here. Somebody. That's cute. Even the pedal. Look at that. I didn't know they were doing the pedal, too. That is too cool. Nebraska says. Quintessential quilt. Very nice. This little table where they have a little cut out for your featherweight. It's like you almost build it yourself. It's just a card table. Mm hmm. With wood. Just, this is like just the singer featherweight room. That's what mostly, mostly featherweights. This is what Regina was talking about. This looks like some of the Lori Holt stuff. This one's for your husband. This is what I want for Christmas. Birthday, Mother's Day, whatever day. So he don't get it mixed up. <laughs> right. And then those metal ones all up there on the top. Mm -hmm. Hammond I've not seen some of them. Mm -mm. And they have a different finish on the bottom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can tell they you can tell they all metal too. I don't think I've ever seen that. This is a black three on one. Really? It's like an iron horse, yeah. Do they have a featherweight store here? I don't think so. I don't think you're gonna. You, it's, it's, I don't think there's gonna be a featherweight like store 
that would have like 200 of them. There's you, they're gonna. They, there. there is a featherweight store online that sells them. Okay. But you know, you're getting them as they come in. They're basically the same machine because they're gonna refurbish that whole thing, mm -hmm. especially if they're painting it. Yes. It's coming all apart. Mm -hmm. Gonna get cleaned and then put back together. And it's gonna be in running order. I was trying to see my so oh, this moves. So am I missing a screw or something maybe? Because this part. The screw. Tighten the screw. No, mine's, it don't, I don't think it even have a screw spot in there. I had to look. No, it. this is it's, the screw right here. It only has one. It holds that. Uh-huh. So That's it. Oh, okay. It's I'm just not, it needs to be tight. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed this quote here. Yellow single featherweight is a 1938 donated by Rob and Linda O'Brien of South Jordan, Utah. Very nice. More singers up here. Goodness gracious. They even got vinyl record player and uh, mm -hmm. records. We had this with the TV in the middle, though, and it was the radio on one side, the player on the other. No, we just had the record player, okay? <laughs> like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -uh, that's cool. I used to go on Saturday to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Four of us be turning that thing up loud. Basic uh, carry iron, it falls down. That's cool. I like this one too. I like weird shaped things. So it's it's weird shape. And this is old. This is mm -hmm. all. All of these are. Uh -huh. This this one's made in 1900s. Crazy kite. Just beautiful. I don't even know. I think they had to do set in scenes or something because this is really crazy how it's put together. Your eye is always turning directions up and down, up and down. So you kind of do rows uh, like this down, up, down, up. Down. So it's kind of weird. And then, like, if you're looking at it from top to bottom, you got all your squares in a row, and all of your 45 degree triangles are in a row. It's pretty cool. I love that. Looks like we're in the official crazy quilt room. More always vintage machines in every room. But this is what's traditional crazy quilt. They had stitching on the seams, in the patches. They had certain things they were commemorating their life. Uh, could be um, given out as a wedding gift. You continually add it to these type of quilts all your life. Just as things were happening, you would add more stuff. Drunkards. 
cat style, a New York beauty style. And they were freehand patches. This was not just, they were true random scraps and they were just made to fit. You just cut and whack. Also by hand. It's amazing. Some people believe you always put a spider web in them. Says that the crazy quilt started in the 1880s. Silk wools, cottons, and artificial fibers. Pieced applique visually fitted into a fabric background. Uh, a crazy quilt is a quilt made of pieces of cloth of various colors and irregular shapes and sizes. No species of fancy work yet invented has ever given more scope for the exercise of artistic ability and real originality. Hence, the secret of its wonderful popularity. It is probably that it will exercise its fascinations for years to come. Pretty cool. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. And this one I've never seen before. Um, um, this edging here is unique to me. And and I'm not sure which sign goes with this quilt. But it is gorgeous. Got a bird in it. Just gorgeous. All kind of different designs on each one of these pieces extending out. Each one of these tabs. Just gorgeous. Alright, so we're going to see if we can find Kevin. I don't know if he went downstairs or out. So we'll check it out. And just wanted to get this. Look at this big old thread spool, too. This thread stand, I mean. Giant spools. <laughs> lots and lots of toy quilts here. Can't even begin to show it all. And even on top, guys, they've got them. <laughs> I gotta walk around, don't bump into anything here. Look at this Stitchwell toy treadle. Amazing. Another one over here. Just amazing. Just machines forever, okay? Even in the research, recessed areas. Goodness gracious. This is the room Kevin wanted me to come into. Wow. Gorgeous works in here.
I got pulled. <laughs> I know you bring it in uh, two minutes. I thought you were talking about tequila. Every time I said it's tequila. Yeah. Was that the lady downstairs? No, no she was, was in a, a, the Missouri store. Oh, okay, that is funny. Yeah. I didn't know as many people were going to have them. I just bought them. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to get some tequila. I didn't know as many people were going to have them. I just was wearing mine. I was surprised to see them. Well, I'm wearing mine, but I didn't want to, like, say, tell people what to do. Because some people don't want their name on them, you know? But that was real, that was nice that they were. It is so much to see. I love sampler quilts. And this is pretty cool. The sashing here. Nice sashing. And like these were painted. Just gorgeous. This reminds me of Eileen Sullivan. I wonder if that's what this is. Yep, Eileen Sullivan. Look at that. I know my stuff sometimes. <laughs> and then this one right here. And then we've got another fancy quilt here. It's gorgeous. Let me show you this center. Just gorgeous. Beautiful job. And then this last quilt here. watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t